on a sunny spring day, the St. Louis County Rescue Squad goes a fishing. But not for walleyes or northerns. We're setting up the ROV. What you saw there was the, the control panel. Meet law enforcement's version of wetting the line. The entire unit's called the remotely operated vehicle. This unit right here is, is the sonar. Um, we're, we're actually able to get an image of uh, things in, in murky water up to 120 feet out from the, the sub. Once a month, the squad hits Minnesota lakes and rivers to train. Today, Pike Lake provides the testing ground. It's a high-tech setup that's actually pretty simple to run. We have our depth control here that works the vertical thruster to be able to move the machine up and down. We have our joystick just going forward, reverse, left and right. It actually just moves the machines by working the side thrusters. The team uses the ROV for search and recovery operations. You drop down with the sonar rotate and then drive to any targets and try to eliminate the, the targets. And then if you don't see anything, move to the next 90 feet or wherever your sonar ends and search for targets again. Winter diving can be risky, so the video ray keeps divers out of freezing water and trouble. Myself being a diver with the squad and also an RV operator, I get kind of both sides of this and, uh, and believe me, it's, it's worked out really well for us. Just last December, a snow groomer broke through the ice on Lake Vermilion. The video ray located the wreckage and divers were able to follow a tether to the drowning victim. Rather than having divers um, search for hours on end, divers are in the water typically less than one minute. Then we also have our grippers right here that you can see and on the front of the machine as well to be able to grab onto whatever we're trying to find. And they find plenty. Sure, there's the occasional perch and crayfish, but they've come across some pretty unique items. We located a wallet, um, brought it back to the surface, turned out it was a woman I lost it 10 years earlier on a um, cruise ship, our cruise boat up there. And we cleaned everything up, called her, she lived in the state of Washington, and she was quite surprised to get it back. No major discoveries during this search, but these officers know the video ray will pay off sometime in the future. It's crucial, it makes, uh, makes our life so much easier.